think it's time that we ventured into the key of B major, as one must do when uh, you play the fiddle. Actually, there's not a lot of tunes in Scottish music in B major. Um, there's a lot of tunes in B minor, and there's a lot of tunes in B flat major. But uh, I decided to write a tune in B major because I was hanging out with some bluegrass musicians in Boston, and they were playing in B major all night long in a jam session. And um, most of them had capos, so it wasn't completely fair. But <laughs> I could, I realized that I couldn't play in B major at all. I couldn't play in tune. I couldn't even, I didn't even know where to put my fingers. So I decided to write a tune. And that's the tune we're gonna learn right now. I highly suggest that before you learn this tune, you just practice a B major scale a few times to um, kind of get your fingers sort it out <laughs> to know where you're putting them. And you can even do one with um, the real rhythm. I think the real groove, you could check that out on the tutorial. But play it. Going all the way up and coming all the way back down again. Maybe play it with a metronome a few times. So this tune is called Sweet Grandmother's Spatula. And it's another uh, little tribute to my favorite, Ron Burgundy. It's part of a set of tunes called the Ron Burgundy Tribute. And you can learn the first tune in the set on this site. It's called The Glass Case of Emotion. Um, so let me just play you the opening phrase of this tune. That's how much we're going to learn first. So we start on our B, and let's actually take out all the slurs just for a moment. Then I'm going to stick in a couple slurs in this basic version just because they're very important to the tune. And then we'll stick in the rest of the slurs and the grace notes in the advanced version. But here are the notes. So you have B, C sharp, B, F sharp. And you move your first finger down to the A sharp position and you're going to slide into your B back like that. But not a slide as in a grace note, a slide as in two different notes. So that part right there goes. So from the beginning. Up to your fourth finger and then you'll end on your D sharp and here's the first slightly hard part you're gonna rock back and forth the notes themselves aren't that hard it's just that these are fingers we're not totally used to using and shapes we're not used to using because we usually play in D and A and G so D the big thing that we're going to add in this advanced version is a lot of slurs that make the tune kind of hold together. So at the beginning, we're going to play a slur, down, 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 then up, 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 and then switch one more time. It's a little bit weird, but just think about it as three note slurs that happen three times in a row. And then you can play singles for a moment. Then we're going to go back to slurring three notes. Just for a moment. Then right here we have our cut. And we talked about this a little bit before, but this time we're going to really slap down on this up bow slur. Um, just pick up your bow a little bit off the string, put your second finger on both strings so you're ready to play C sharp to F sharp. 